All right, welcome to another Phone Tip Friday. We have one of the first Integrity Partners in the building with us today, John Wetmore. What up, dude? All right. So when it comes to a lot of, uh, there's some, uh, and I love this because there's some Integrity Partners, not with FFL, right? But if I called them up and said, hey, how do I book an appointment? Uh, They probably wouldn't have the answer. Fair to say, it doesn't make it right, wrong. It just means like you want to be a part of something that those who are teaching you have been there and they're not so removed that it's like, man, back in my day, we used to do telegrams to people. It's like, dude, that's a little bit different. You know what I mean? Like now you guys are the internet, but it's like, so I get it. But John, man, what's one or two tips, man, you can give to us that don't matter if you were in 1950 cell insurance, 2022, it's still relevant. Yes, sir. Um, I'll give a couple. Yep. So for me, and I'm not going to give words. I'm going to give like a concept more than anything. So I was talking about you guys with this earlier. It's what I did to myself. So if this is how I judged me. It's things I looked at so how, to know how I could get better. I'm kind of analytical, as you know, and I like efficiency. Right. So I always try to figure out ways I can do more in the same amount of time. So I try to look at stuff interestingly. So for me, one of the things I did, um, one, if you look at your phone, like iPhone, yeah. if you scroll to the bottom in the in the call in the recent calls, mm-hmm. that holds a hundred. So one of the things I used to do every day when I was dialing, I was I would go all the way down the bottom and see how old it was. Does that make sense? Yeah. And if it wasn't like a few hours ago, you ain't dialing enough. Does that make sense? And then on the same day, like some people's today, it might be dial day today, they'll scroll down, it'd be like last Wednesday. Mm. Does that make sense? That's not good. And then on the same day, like right now, it says a day of the week because my oldest one isn't today. But if it's on a dial day and it shows today, or go to the bottom of your earliest dial, one, look at how early you started. You can see the time. And my favorite thing to do, bro, at the end of the day, is I would look at the gaps. So, like, if you go to any call, it'll say, like, like mine right now, one says 8.58, 8.59, and then 9.13. Yeah. Like, that gap between is where people die in this business. So for me, I always wanted to keep those one minute, like literally back to back to back. Now, granted, if someone answers, you're going to have a small, it's going to be there. I got it. But the problem with money is there'll be a gap and there's no call in the middle of the gap. You know what I mean? So I always, I literally would look at this every day and I do it with agents. I did it in your office today. I'm like, she, I had dialed a bunch. I said, give me your phone. And we went through and in the two hours she had been dialing, we literally added up the time. There was more gap time than dial time. Over the course of two hours. Yeah. Like you drag that out over the year, how much more efficient, how many more calls you can make, how many more people you can talk to, how many more you book, how many more you sit, how much more money goes in your pocket, how many more families you help. You know what I mean? So that gap time for me was critical, dude. Massive. That's Phone Tips Friday. John Wetmore. Later, y'all.